Sleeper dude here. Today I'm going to show you guys the basics of fixing a dent. Like this is if you have a door ding in your car or something and it's not something you really have to do much metal finishing work on. This is how you would fix it if you're just getting started out in body work. So first off here I'm going to sand it with 80 grit on a DA. You could use this by hand with 80 grit but uh, I like I don't really like inline scratches. They usually tend to show back up later on. But this is 80 grit on a six inch DA. We sand it down. Usually I try to get it down to the metal or close to it. And then we blow it off. This is your Bondo. Most of the time, if you just put a line across the top of your Bondo, you have enough hardener. That's how I was trained to do it. And if you notice, I fold it into itself. I'm not stirring it. You don't want to stir air bubbles into it. So I spread this out over the dent in the fender and allow it to dry. Now I'm knocking it back down with 80 grit again on a 6 inch DA. I'm trying not to actually touch the uh, black painted part around it because we don't really want sand scratches out there. Because if you prime over rough sand scratches, you will see them later. And we knocked it down with 80 grit till it's almost done just to get the shape. And then we're going to blow it off and I'm going to start sanding this by hand now with 180 because you don't uh, primer over 80 grit scratches. Now I've done it, people have done it over the years, but those sand scratches will come back later on. You guys have probably seen that on a car that's been painted for a few years. You start seeing the sand scratches swell back out. You get it down to 180, and what you're looking for is like the top left corner there where you don't have any hard lines. It kind of just fades away. The edges sort of fade away. If you look at the, at the top right, there was kind of a hard line there. So all your edges need to look like this where you, you know, it kind of fades away. Now I've got some pinholes here, and I'm going to get some uh, glazing putty, which is much thinner than Bondo. Same thing, about the same amount of hardener. Just to kind of draw a line across the top of your Bondo or putty and you should have enough hardener depending on the weather conditions. But I, I wipe it in both directions with these pinholes because sometimes you wipe it one direction it doesn't actually get all the way in the pinhole. So I wipe it with, with the putty. Now I'm going back over this with 180 now and trying to block it down. Same kind of thing. You don't want to see the edge. You don't want to see those hard edges like that of the putty. It should kind of fade away on the edges. And you can feel it with your hand. And, you know, if you feel something there, you're probably going to see it in your body work after you prime it. We're going to blow it off now. And this dent is ready to prime. We're going to take some 320 on a 6 inch DA and sand all around the area because you don't want to put any primer on an area that has not been sanded before. You got to sand everything or you're going to have primer that's going to peel back off. I like to go back over them with a what I call a red scotch brite, especially under the edges of these lips like this uh, because a lot of times that hasn't ever been sanded before. And there you go, that's what your edges should look like right there. You want it uh, not to have any sort of hard lines where you spread out your bondo or putty. Um, now I'm going to tape it off here and look how I put the paper on here in just a second. I put the paper on the opposite of what you would probably think and then I roll it back over. That way you don't have as hard of a, of a tape line there. And you really do not want to primer all the way up to the edge of your paper if you can uh, do it, if you have enough room. So I try to stay a couple inches off the edge of my paper because if you prime right up that edge, if you make hard lines, here's our second coat after it's dried. If you make hard lines, uh, they're going to show up later. Even if you sand them out, they're still going to show up. I don't know why that is. So we put usually about three coats of primer on something like this. And here's your finished product. If you see sand scratches at this point after you primed it, you are going to see them later. Any imperfections you see right now, even if you block them out, I promise you, they will show back up later to haunt you in your dreams. So make sure at this stage that it looks really good and you don't have any sand scratches. Thanks guys for watching. I appreciate it.